this is Fitness with Fitness Connection. Today we're going to have an exercise session on the floor. So let's make sure we have what we need first. As you know, I like to put a little bit of lemon juice or cranberry juice in my water. It gets me through five or six of these a day, which is what we need. And everyone's always so concerned that they have to go to the bathroom a lot. Basically, after eight days of drinking a lot of water, your body becomes hydrated. And then you won't go to the bathroom as much and your body, your muscles will work better, you think better, your memory improves, believe it or not. So water, water, water. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn around, lie on our mat, find something comfortable on the floor. And Chris, you have a pillow right there. That might be more comfortable for you under your head. Okay, so let's just get down. Julia, get comfortable. Our knees are gonna be bent. And the minute anyone sees anyone go to the floor, they always think it's gonna be abdominal work, and guess what, we'll start there. So feet are comfortable and flat. Is your lower back on the floor, you guys? Yes. Okay, you wanna make sure we press that lower back towards the floor, hands loosely on the side of your head. Now, if you interlace your fingers, it's gonna to apply too much strength to that pole, and I don't want too much strength. So just fingertips on the side of your head, excellent. And what we're gonna do is lift our shoulders off the ground and stay right there. Beautiful. Abdominals in. Now, pull in your core. Pull in that tree trunk. Add the pelvic floor pull. Ladies, Kegel, you remember where Kegels were? Pulling in the pelvic floor. Men, same thing. All the pelvic floor muscles, pull them in. Think of being inside your stomach, pulling inwards. Okay, let's go. Ready, guys? Let's do a couple of abdominal curls. We're gonna exhale on the way up. Go. Shh. Shh. Beautiful. Shh. And as you are exhaling, I want you to focus on bringing the ribs to the hips. As you can see, she's got her shoulders coming off the floor. The neck is going for the ride. There's no pulling of the neck and jerking. And so many people get exhausted with their neck when they do abdominals. Okay, Chris and Julie, you're only going to do two more. So only give me one. Shh. And two. Shh. Take a rest. When your abdominals have a rest, they basically get the blood flow going through it and re get rid of any kind of lactic acid buildup, which is a chemical reaction from you working anaerobically, which is what you're doing. And then what happens is they revive themselves very quickly so you can do another set. Let's do another set of 10, okay? So before you start, Julia, I want you to try something with your neck. See if you can hold your upper arms. Beautiful. And then that way, she's cradling her head. So she's cradling that head with her arms, holding out with her hands. It's like a little basket. You're comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay, here we go with 10. Let's go. Exhale, go. One, good. Two, shh. Three. It's almost like wringing it out, wringing out a sponge. Exhale, good. And six, shh. And seven, as you can see, Chris is lifting his lower body a little bit. It's adding that that sort of like curling up like the letter C. Two more, two more, two more. Let's add on, shh. And again, shh, and take a rest. So that would have been two sets of abdominals. Chris stretching out his entire body to get a rest, letting the abdominals, especially the rectus abdominis, goes right down the front of your body. The obliques come around from the side. We used to think that we could just sort of snip and abdominals were easy muscle groups to give you. They're not. They're all interwoven with their muscle fibers, and it's pretty much like a, an encasing around your entire tree, prunk, tree trunk. So this is called forward flexion. We're gonna do our third set. Hopefully you're doing it with us. Sometimes when something's new, don't forget it's good to watch, and hence why we're doing three sets, so then you can join us. For Chris and Julia, they've already done two sets. So now their third set, if I can only keep count properly once in a while, will be their give them 30 total, which is more like a muscle overload. It's how they're going to improve their muscle strength, endurance, and a little bit of toning and definition. Okay, let's do 10. Here we go. Exhale. Go. Shh. One. Good. Two. Shh. Three. Shh. Beautiful. Four. Shh. The neck is going for a ride. Five. Good. And six. Shh. And seven. Shh. And eight. Shh and nine, and 10. And stretch out your entire body. Let's get a nice stretch, lengthening. Oh, I think this is the best part. Now let's take our left leg and stretch it out as much as you can. 
along with your left arm. Lengthen, 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 Ugh. and release. Take a breath. Let's lengthen our right leg and our right arm. Lengthen, lengthen, come on, make yourself taller and longer, and release. You're gonna do it one more time. Left side, you ready? Left leg, left arm, stretch. It's almost like that leg is pulling out of your hip, and release. Right arm, exhale. Lengthen, 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 and release. Okay, putting our hands down by our sides. Rearrange that pillow if you need to, Chris. Bend our knees, let's go back to our beginning position. Sometimes it's helpful to lift your hips up a little bit and reorganize your back on the floor. Okay, for any of you that have excessive curvature in the lower back, you might wanna take a towel, roll it up, and put it under your back a little bit, and that might help you. But regardless, you're pulling in and grounding yourself to the mat. Okay, hands down by your side. Comfortable. Feet flat, I'd say about 12 inches away from your backside. I want you to press down with your heels, slowly peel yourself off the ground. So your hips come off the ground, and now it's called a bridge. So you're lifting up, lifting your rear end right off the floor and holding it there. Now take those knees and press them away out of your hips. Think about being longer, longer stretching, squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings, those muscles in the back of the leg. Good, now dig down with your heels a little harder. Come on, lift up and hold it. This is called the isometric contraction. You are strengthening and toning. The muscle is tightening, it's not lengthening or shortening, it's just you're holding it there. Good, now you guys, I just want you to do a little, little squeeze. Little squeeze. It's like I'm squeezing inside the squeeze. Press down with those heels, abdominals in. And again, squeeze, squeeze. Give me four more, good, and three. Press down with those heels, two, and hold it. Now slowly, don't let go of that tightness in your backside, slowly lower your lower back to the ground. And relax, beautiful. Take one leg, lengthen it, put it over your thigh. So it's called, actually it looks like the number four. And relax that hip down. You should feel this, that stretch in your hip. Go, let's try the other leg. This is not for flexibility right now, this is just to release it for a second, sort of like an active stretch. Feeling it all on the side of the leg. Do you guys feel that in your hip? Yeah. yeah. We'll go back to that in a little while. Okay, now, let's bring our knees really close together. Feet flat again, it's the same exercise, but you guys are gonna add one little uh, perk. Press down with those heels, squeeze your rear end. Right, peel it off the ground, lifting up into a bridge and hold it there, nice job. Good, now dig down with your heels, lift your toes off the ground, and add a little squeeze, little lift, little lift. Squeeze those knees together. Little left, little left, little left, little left. Yep, tighten, I want those hamstrings and glutes nice and tight. Do you guys feel this in the back of your legs? Come on, press those knees together. Dig down harder with the heels. Eight, seven, six, and five, abdominal stabilizing. Beautiful, now hold it there. Dig down as hard as you can, hard as you can. Squeeze, lift a little higher. Squeeze all those legs, I want them screaming. Good, do it again, little squeeze. Tiny, tiny, breathing. Press down with those heels, no pain in your knees whatsoever. Little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. Give me four, and three, and two, and take a rest, all the way down. Oh, do you guys feel that? Okay, let's take our leg that's towards the back and put that foot up. There you go. Now, you can put your hand on that thigh, stretch it down, or, I don't know if you guys can do this, I think you can, bring up that other leg and just reach through your legs and hang on. Nice, yeah. Now you pull that leg in and it really sort of puts an accent on that outside of that hip. Whew. Hold it. Excellent, and change legs. First I'm gonna put it on the thigh. I'm gonna reach through, grab it. Remember these are different stages of progression. So you wanna feel, always do what feels comfortable to you. Now we are gonna go back and do our third set, just like abdominals. 
but I'm going to pretend to get a cramp in the middle of it to show you what to do. Because if you haven't worked out your hamstrings, the back of your legs, the hamstrings go from the glutes, the pelvic, they attach to your pelvis, and they go down the back of your leg, and they attach past your knee. So your hamstrings help bend your knee, and they help, if you're walking, push your hip back. So it's important we keep these guys flexible, and we'll stretch them out in a second. But I'm gonna pretend, Chris and Julia, I'm gonna pretend that I get a cramp in the middle of it. Okay, let's go with our phase two of this. Arms down, shoulders back. Lower back pressing into the ground. Feet flat to start with, no knee pain. And Julia, if your knees bother you at all, move your feet a little farther away from your, um, from your backside. Okay, here we go. Whew, regroup and get psyched. Here we go. Press down. Peel yourself off the ground. This isn't just a movement. This is work. Now, if you can get those feet next to each other and press your knees together, you'll feel your inner thighs engage. What a perk that is as well. Press down with those heels. Squeeze the glutes. Okay, here we go. Abdominals in. Now feel your whole gluteus maximus, your backside contract. No lower back pain. Lift those toes off the ground. You may need to adjust the feet, move them out a little bit. Sometimes you can feel a, a bigger workout in the backside when your heels are out. Good, little lift, little lift, squeeze, squeeze. Now because you're really focusing on tightening the back of your body, if the back of that leg starts to bother you, I want you to stop and stretch it out. So I tend to be flexible in my legs so it looks nice and straight. Your leg might be here, don't be surprised. Just to stretch out that hamstring will really help. Good. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, let's go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now, I'm gonna give Chris something harder to do. Put those feet back flat on the ground, you guys. Now keep the squeeze. Are you lifted? Are your hips lifted? Yeah. Abdominals in? Yeah. But your upper back is on the ground, right? Okay, squeeze. Now, Julie, I want you to pretend you have a ball between your knees and squeeze those knees together as hard as you can. Keep it. Do you feel your inner thighs engage? Yes. Good. Keep that. Chris, get ready. I want you to lengthen one leg out straight. One leg out straight. Really work that one supporting leg. That should really increase in intensity. Now put your foot back down, Chris, but don't drop it down. Keep your hips lifted. Now go with the other leg. Nice, no knee pain, all muscular work. Right, Chris? Yep. Good, keep it, both feet down, and let's go back and join what Julia's doing. Little lift, little lift. Last finale, hold it, press those knees out of your hips and away from, your, away from you. I want you to squeeze those knees together and press, hold it, hold it, and release them down. Oh, good job. Let's take our back leg and do a figure four. Stretching out. And Julia, you just gave me a great idea. Sometimes this is the position. I thought that's what Julia was gonna do for a second. This figure four, sort of like your beginning stage. Then with the knee bent. And then go ahead and grab that leg if it's comfortable. Now grabbing your leg to increase the intensity of that stretch, I don't want you to stress your neck out. So if this is too difficult for you, and sometimes it is when your torso is a little bit different. Sometimes women with a larger chest area, it's hard to reach down to get that leg. So don't worry about it. Just be in a nice, comfortable position. Let's change legs. I'm going to modify with a straight leg down. Julia's got one knee. There you go. She's lengthening right there. Sometimes it just feels different. Oh. Chris, why don't you go ahead and pick that leg up, get a nice stretch. Beautiful. And as you can see when Chris is doing it, it's no strain in his neck. It's all just, just holding his leg. Okay, let's regroup. Legs back, straight, arms straight and stretch. Stretch one side, and the other side. One side, and the other side. Excellent. Good, walk the feet into your rear end. Bring your knees into your chest one at a time. Hold on to your legs and just roll your hips left to right, left to right. Okay, now to get to a seated position, there are different ways of modifying. I'm gonna totally modify. I'm gonna pretend I have a bad back 
and I have to get up nice and slow. I'm in a second, I'm gonna have Julia and Chris, they do what they call rock and roll up. You need to be able to use your abdominals for rock and roll. So let's start with our feet on the ground. Julia and Chris, you can bring one leg in and rock and roll up. I'm gonna get myself on my side and then push myself up. Okay, let's get our legs in front of us. Easier said than done sometimes, depending on flexibility. Good. I want you to take a big breath, arms up. You're gonna reach over that. Remember we were stretching, and we like going, reaching out. I want you to take a big breath, reach out over. Grab those feet if you can. Can't grab the feet? Maybe you're here. Maybe it feels like you're slouching in your back. Okay, let's start with a modification. Julia, nice modification there. Lift up through your chest and stretch that back out. Nice. Chris has his knees bent a little bit. Chris, you and I are gonna change it. We're gonna bend our knees a little bit. Focus on a nice straight back first. And let's just straighten that leg towards me. There. Now we can lean forward. The, all the muscles, what's interesting is a lot of people think to go down, you, you have to bend your neck. Well, the good th news is none of these muscles in the back of your leg, specifically hamstrings, connect to your neck. So you don't need to bend forward. Instead, just lean forward, stick your backside out there, and you got it. You feel that in the back of your leg? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Let's change legs, Chris. Now I'm gonna really modify. I'm gonna bend my knee a lot right here. And I'm just gonna put my hands on the floor to stabilize. Getting my rear end out behind me and holding that stretch. Julia, thank you for reminding me. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Do you know that a lot of beginners in exercise tend to hold their breath? Usually when we're listening to directions or we're trying something new, we tend to hold our breath. So if you catch yourself doing that, just take a second, make some noise. <sighs> Okay, let's go back. Chris, you and I are gonna go back to the, the first leg. Julia, actually Chris, why don't you try both legs now, with the knees slightly bent. I'm gonna continue modifying. Julia, I want you to start over. Take a big breath and go over both legs again. <sighs> Reach up to the ceiling, Julia, and just stretch over that imaginary barrel towards your feet. She's lengthening. How fantastic is that to get a stretch all through her upper body? <sighs> To hold the stretch for flexibility, you really need to hold it 20 to 30 seconds or longer. And if you do this on a continual basis, you will find amazing things happen. Change legs for me. If you have all the muscles in your body are limber and relaxed, the rest of your, your pelvis will work better, your lower back will have, perhaps have less back pain. It's very common to have back pain with tight hamstrings, the back of the legs. Good, we're gonna do what we call a butterfly stretch. So the bottoms of your feet go together, right? You're gonna bring your feet in only where it's comfortable and press your elbows into the knees. Here again, inner thigh and groin with a straight back. Yeah. And you can see with the three of us, we have three different ways of doing it. All our backs aren't gonna be straight. So you have to ask yourself, what do I look? Maybe you don't have a mirror and you can't see what you're doing. Well, just ask yourself, do I feel it on my inner thighs? If you don't, then let those feet go out a little bit more or modify. This is a modified stretch. I'm gonna have one leg straight and I'm just gonna push down on this knee a little bit pain-free. Or I can put my elbow, get a stretch in that inner thigh. Do you feel a stretch in your inner thigh and groin? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that, you know, when you're standing up and doing lunges, you might feel more. This is a nice thing to do when you're on the ground. I'm gonna change legs. I want you guys to relax, take your breath, and do another stretch. So I'm going here. Julia's doing a hamstring stretch. I'm changing my leg to get back into that hip. Now our spine, let's finish with our spine. We often ignore everything that's in the back of our body. Do you find it's usually more about what's in the front of our body? But your spinal, your spinal column is crucial. I'm comfortable sitting here. You might be comfortable sitting with your legs crossed. Julia, what, would, what do you prefer? Sitting straight. Legs crossed, Chris? That's what we're going to do. We're going to work, that's a very good, we're going to turn our body to the side. You like it like that? Okay, I'm going to keep mine straight in front. Okay, so here's the rule. 
do not bend over and turn at the same time. Because your spine, if you get in that habit, and if you ever pick up anything heavy over here, which is curled as well as rotated, and then pull up, it's, it's how we injure ourselves all the time, especially on our back. So keep your back nice and straight. Let's so take your breath, and we're gonna turn this way. Exhale. Now I'm gonna pry myself around the corner. Oh my goodness, I'm putting my hand here. Oh, that feels great. Ooh, I'm trying to keep my back straight and turn around. Shh, not my neck, my torso. I must remember that. It's not about my neck, it's about my torso. Oh. Let's go the other side. Inhale, exhale. Shh. Trying to be as straight as possible. Oh. And again, take your breath. Other side, exhale. Good, now you notice they keep the posture while they're stretching. They have to keep a nice tall spine. The exhaling, good, take a breath, you guys, and turn around and go the other way. Good, they exhale, and they have to think about their posture. So I wouldn't do too many of these, just do one on each side, and maybe repeat it, just so you feel good. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, back in center, shake those legs out. Beautiful. Okay, getting up off the ground can be tricky. I want you to pick up, pick, take it up the best way that you know how. It's most comfortable for you. Have a great day and don't forget, stay fit.